So when it comes to doing affiliate marketing as a complete beginner, you need to make sure that you're aware of the most fundamental things because if you don't do the right things from the initial stages, then you're going to end up wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. So in today's video, I'm going to go through around four or five different things that I wished I was aware of before I started my affiliate marketing business many years ago because it would have just sped up the whole process. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before and you're thinking, who is this guy and why should I listen to him? Well, welcome. My name is Sam. And on this channel, I release daily videos to help people just like you when it comes to making money on Online. But most importantly, I've been doing affiliate marketing now for the past five or six years. And during that time, I've been able to learn various different things to get me to the point of being able to make around $10,000, sometimes up to around $20,000 every single month in passive income. And I'm sure if you watch this whole video from start to finish and you don't skip anything, you're also going to learn something that's going to potentially change your life. So as always, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into it. If you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell now so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things that I wished I was aware of many years ago when I first started doing affiliate marketing is the different pros and cons. And the main reason for this is that if you're not aware of the advantages to doing affiliate marketing, then you're not going to be able to put your full efforts into it. As well as the different disadvantages that you're going to face, then you're not going to know exactly what obstacles you need to look out for so that you can overcome them. And right here in front of me, I've got three different cons and three different pros that I've learned over the past few years when it comes to making a passive source of income with affiliate marketing. So starting off with one of the first cons, which is that you have no real control over the commissions that you're going to make. And I'm sure by now most of you already know exactly how affiliate marketing works, but when you promote someone else's product or service and you're successfully able to generate a sale, you're going to be able to make a commission. But one of the issues that I've realized when it comes to doing affiliate marketing, specifically when it comes to the commissions, is that you have no control over how much you're going to get paid. And you also have no control over whether the company that you're promoting and decides to change the percentage that they're paying out to all of their affiliate marketers. So for example, you could be promoting a company or product where you're making around 50% commissions and for whatever reason, the company might decide to change it to 20% commissions. And if you've built your business on that income, expecting that you're going to be able to make 50% commissions over the foreseeable future and they change it, it's going to completely affect your business. So this is definitely one of the main cons that I've learned anyway over the past few years. One of the next cons is that you may experience delays with payouts. So there's been various different companies that I've been promoting over the years where I've had to wait four months, five months for me to receive my first commission. And during that time, I've also built up thousands of dollars in revenue for that particular company. And the reason why this is a headache is because it's now put me in a position where I'm having to chase the company, find out what's going on, going back and forth with various different emails just for me to receive my first payout. Now, of course, this doesn't happen all the time, but it's definitely something that you need to be aware of. And one of the final cons that I'm going to speak about in this video is that it can take some time for you to build up a solid traffic source. And by traffic source, what I mean is the method of how you're going to get people to click your links in the first place. Whether you're going to use platforms like YouTube, your own blog website, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever traffic source you're looking to build up, it's definitely going to take you some time for you to get things to the point where you're able to make a decent amount of passive income from your affiliate marketing business. And this isn't necessarily a con because all good things take time to build up. But the reason why I'm letting you guys know this is because a lot of you expect to make your first commission in the next 24 hours, maybe the next 48 hours. But for you to have any sort of success with this online business model, you need to make sure that you've got a long-term mindset. And this now brings me on to one of the first pros, which is that it's very flexible. And by flexible, what this means is that you're going to be able to run this business from anywhere around the world. You've also got the flexibility when it comes to the companies and the products that you're promoting. You can either promote one company and just get affiliate commissions from that, or you can promote 50 companies, 100 companies. It's all down to you. If you decide that you want to promote a new product today, you can easily do it. Or if you decide that you want to stop promoting a company, you're going to be able to do it with a few clicks of a button. And the next pro when it comes to doing affiliate marketing is that it's a great source of passive income. Now, one of the things that I like about doing affiliate marketing is that I've got one main job, which is to promote companies. I'm not responsible for fulfilling the order customer service, updating the product, dealing with refunds, hiring staff. The only thing that you're responsible for is to find quality products and then promote them. It's a very simple online business model and it can definitely be a great source of passive income. Which now brings me on to one of the final pros, which is the fact that it has low business startup costs. So you're not really going to have to pay for that many things. As I said earlier, you're not going to need any inventory. You're not going to need that much staff. All you really need to do is build up a traffic source and build up an audience 
of people that are interested in a particular topic. And then your only job from that point is to realistically communicate with them every so often, making sure that you're giving them free value about the reason why they even signed up to your email list in the first place. And then every now and then, you're also gonna send out various different affiliate offers that's gonna help out that audience in one way or another, which means that you're not really gonna have to pay that much money when it comes to getting things started because it's not gonna be your product that you're gonna be selling. Okay, so moving on to one of the second things that I wished I was aware of many years ago when I first started doing affiliate marketing is the fact that you can actually negotiate the amount of commission that you're getting. Now, of course, you can't do this when you first start promoting a company, but once you're able to get, let's say, five successful sales, maybe 10 successful sales, you can now reach out to the company and say, hey, I brought you this many customers. Is it possible for you to increase the amount of commissions that you're paying? And the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because I always felt like the amount of commission that a particular company is claiming that they're going to pay out on their website is going to be the same for everyone, but well, that couldn't be far from the truth. And just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, let's say, for example, I jump onto PartnerStack and I'm going to promote this company right here where I'm going to be able to earn up to 20% in commissions, as well as $450 on every successful sale that I get. The most important thing that you need to be aware of is that this amount that they're claiming that they're going to pay out is for brand new people. If I was to promote this company and I brought them 10, 15, 20 customers, I'm going to be able to reach out to them and let them know that I brought them this many customers and I want them to potentially give me up to 25% and maybe $500 on every successful sale. And the reason why they're most likely going to say yes to that is number one, I've been able to do that with majority of the different companies that I work with. But number two, they want you to be happy. They want you to bring them more customers. They want it to be a win-win situation for everyone. And if that means them paying you a higher commission, then that's exactly what they're going to do. And this is something that I wish I was aware of many years ago with all of the different companies and products that I've been promoting because I would have been able to make so much more money. All of these different companies right here, whether it's on PartnerStack, whether it's on Impact, Digistore24, ClickBank, it doesn't really matter. Most of them are not going to reach out on their own behalf. Some of them do, but 90% of the time, they're not going to reach out to you. They're going to wait for you to reach out to them. So if you're able to remember this from day one, you're going to be able to put your business and yourself in a better position because you're going to be able to make so much more money. And this now brings me on to one of the next things that you guys need to know, which is that there's three different types of affiliate offers out there that you can promote, which is either physical products, softwares, or info products. And when it comes to the best place for you to get your affiliate links to promote physical products, I would say that Amazon Associates is one of the best ones. Main reason for this is that you're going to have access to millions of different products that are currently available on Amazon right now. And once someone clicks on your Amazon link and buys the product, you're gonna be able to make a commission. And one of the best places that I personally use when it comes to finding various different softwares to promote is PartnerStack. So on my channel, one of the main things that I promote is various different softwares that help you when it comes to running your e-commerce business, your affiliate marketing businesses. I've promoted so many different softwares. And the main reason why I'm able to do that successfully is because I actually use those softwares with my business on a day-to-day -day basis. However, if you're someone that's trying to advise someone to use a software that you've never actually used yourself, it's gonna be really hard for you to get the benefits across to them. And when it comes to finding info products to promote. There's so many out there, but you can use websites like ClickBank, Digistore24. There's so many, but those are two of the ones that you can get started with. And when I say info products, I'm talking about digital items such as courses and memberships. But of course, there's so much more that goes into doing affiliate marketing. I just wanted to give you guys the basic things that I wished I was aware of when I first started because it would have allowed me to make so much more money over these past few years. But if you wanna sign up to my completely free email newsletter where twice a week, I'm gonna personally send you out an email to help you when it comes to making money online whether it's an email about affiliate marketing, dropshipping, Amazon FBA, whatever the case is, I'm gonna send you an email to help you on the path of being able to make a lot more money online as a complete beginner. So if you wanna sign up for that email newsletter, make sure you click the first link in the description down below. And if you wanna watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I broke down some other important things that you guys need to know when it comes to building up a strong traffic source so that you're gonna be able to make a decent amount of money with affiliate marketing, then make sure you click the link right there. Check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out as well. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.